What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. We are not, we are not, I repeat, in my Tommy closet. I know we're in my car. The audio is probably a little messed up, but I'm taking you to Ross today. We are on the hunt for all things Tommy Hilfiger per usual. And I've not been to Ross in a long time, a very long time. So I figured today I'm in the area of a Ross. We're going to check it out. We're going to peruse. We're going to hopefully find some Tommy treasures and uh, hunt. So <laughs> I like to do this every now and then at department stores. Just look for Tommy pieces that are out of the norm. And as you know, like aside from the actual Tommy stores and Tommy.com, you'll find unique treasures at other like third party locations. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully find some goodies. If you're interested, grab yourself a snack, perhaps a drink and keep on watching. The sun is about to go down. As you can see, we're in prime golden hour right now. Like if this is not the perfect shade of, you know, uh, you know, God's light, <laughs> I don't know what is. So um, we better get in the store and uh, let's just, let's take a sec. Let's take a sec because do you, do you recognize his glasses? Do you see, do you see what these are? These are the Tommy X Romeo Hunts glasses, sunglasses. How freaking beautiful. Oh, I don't want to take them off. If I could, I would shop in the store wearing these glasses, but people would probably look at me like, who the heck does he think he is? So I'm not going to do that. Let's go. All right, guys, we're kicking off this Ross experience at the women's accessories. And here we find a Tommy bucket hat. This was just sitting on the shelf. I found it as is. And $16.99, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but uh, we're gonna hold on to it just in case. Here are the wallets. I always look right here because I find unique Tommy wallets every now and then. This one, it's kind of cool. Not really my style. Not really feeling the price. Moving on to the bags. So these are of course women's bags, but again, you guys, when it comes to fashion, I like to be fluid and fun. So we're checking to see if there's any cool Tommy ones here. I did spot a few, but to be honest, these mini like micro backpacks, I don't think I could pull these off, although they are pretty cool. Like this one, I like the prints. I like how it's kind of like an embossed TH all over it. And then the Tommy logo right in the front. Um, again, I just don't think I could really rock that. This one is the one that really caught my eye the most. I really like how it kind of reminds me of like a bowling ball bag in a way and a little bit of a Gucci vibe with the stripe going down the front, but I'm going to have to pass on that. The shelves are bare though. If you haven't noticed, a lot of these shelves are super bare. I don't know what's going on with Ross right now, but you'll catch the vibe throughout this video. Shelves are bare and the store is just, dare I say, messy. Um... This is nothing compared to what you're about to see, so stay tuned. Uh, not really too many Tommy purses, just a few, you know, here and on the next side. But this one's kind of cool. I do like the navy blue. Um, it retailed for $118, and it's priced here for $21.99. Not too bad. Um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of like a Y2K style piece, just because like that's very much the vibe from then. Catch the fit. We're going for a very cozy vibe today, feeling comfortable, feeling like I want to stay warm. So moving on to some more bags over here. Nothing's really standing out to me except for the heels that are placed on uh, the bag rack. Do you see that? What the heck? And of course, they have a couple Tommy clutches. This is very, very simple. I like this one though. It says Tommy and then the stripe down the front. Kind of cool. Um, price is, you know, pretty fair as well. Not mad at that. And I seen this. I was like, oh, is that Tommy? Mm, no what the heck is this it's providing the vibe in a way but i've never heard of that brand so uh no moving on to the home department and i'm starting off in the bath area because every now and then i'll find some tommy towels and as you may or may not know i'm in the process of getting a house so of course i want to stock up on some goodies i did not see any tommy pieces though here i was hoping for like a bath mat or something along those lines there was some brands like I seen DKNY, there's Lacoste, and I also seen like a Juicy Couture one, but nothing Tommy related in the bedding. And home wise, there was 
sincerely nothing Tommy related. So hard pass there. And now we're moving on to the men's, you guys. Brace yourself because this is atrocious. I like those CK socks. They're pretty cool. But uh, I did not see any Tommy socks whatsoever. And this was just such a mess. I don't know what's going on with the wilkes Bear Ross, but this was... A disaster so uh, we're gonna try to make this as easy as possible this journey here's some undergarments there is some classic tommy tees priced pretty fair as well 15 bucks um i know in the tommy store these are like 30 dollars, maybe even more sometimes so that's kind of a steal i uh, i didn't even want to like have to search through all this because it was just such a mess belts mm, nothing tommy there either we have some some ties and some bow ties and that type of stuff nothing tommy no tommy there the mantis no tommy i don't believe i caught any tommy and there was also a guy looking for himself i didn't want to make him feel awkward so i moved on yeah hats let me tell you there was a lot of hats as you see but um i've looked and i did not see any tommy at all um the choices were not the greatest here's the winter wear nothing tommy except for this scarf which actually this is this is kind of a cool scarf i'm not gonna lie i do appreciate a gray moment with the tommy stripe going down it but i feel like that should be marked down at this point because you know winter is already here so get with it moving on to the shoes there's a lot of shoes. There is a whole lot of shoes here. So I obviously had a lot to go through and just really peruse and see if there was anything Tommy. I don't know how I spotted these up here, but these are beauties. They're like this quilted style Tommy sneaker. I don't even know if you want to call these a sneaker. It's definitely a sneaker. I don't know but they were priced super fair, $15.99, that is insane. And this was the only pair that I've seen on the rack. So I was like, you know what, they're my size. <gasps> Do you see that? Um, these are coming home with me. These are <laughs> beautiful. I don't know how I caught these, but uh, they're mine. Some outerwear, we got some jackets and I just wasn't really feeling it. We got some shirts. Nothing's really catching my eye, to be honest. Everything kind of looks just not my style or anything Tommy related whatsoever. So if you see me just like walking past any of these aisles, it's because, you know, I, ha I have the eye for Tommy. If I don't see anything that's Tommy related, I'm not even gonna bother looking. We have some clearance right here. And uh, of course, we got to look through the clearance guys we like good deals this is a cool tommy shirt i have to say i did like this um it was a medium so it looked a little little small for me so i had to pass on that but i did see something else on this rack that i love so i love myself a good thermal shirt i love this color not sure if i'm gonna get it but we're gonna hold on to it just in case all right let's wrap up looking through the clothing because honestly this organization is just giving me anxiety. I've worked in retail for a little bit. I'd say maybe like four or five years. And um, I've never been in a store so like atrocious. Not that I'm trying to read Ross to filth, but I think we're seeing the same thing here. This is kind of a mess. It doesn't even make me want to like look through their stuff. So I did my best to try to get through searching high and low for Tommy pieces and um, I feel pretty accomplished for what we were dealt with and this this little duffel bag right here guys I, I needed to take a gander at this the price wasn't really something that I'd be willing to spend for a third party Tommy piece but it was it was pretty unique all right guys we're just gonna keep the vibe hanging out in my car and um thank god I have a Lumi case on my phone to project some light but I did buy a few things as you saw, there was very unique Tommy stuff at this Ross. I was a little shook because those shoes, oh my God, are you kidding me? So I got, I got quite lucky. Here's what I got, little thumbnail moment. 
Oh, I'm not, probably not going to use that, but <laughs> I got a few things at this Ross. First and foremost, I'm going to show you something that I just, I don't even know why I got this, but I love thermals here in Pennsylvania. It's cold like for four, five, six, six months, seven sometimes. And I got this beautiful slate blue colored Tommy thermal. And this is simple. It was $12.99. So it was a pretty fair price. Not too bad. And I just fell in love with the color, to be honest. It's oversized. I got a large. It's great quality. And I'm probably just going to wear this pair with a nice pair of jeans and Chelsea boots. Dress it up just a little bit. Or you could dress it down. Whatever you want to do. But $12.99, not too bad. I also got the uh, pairs of shoes that I was quaking over. These quilted Tommy sneakers. Are you kidding me? Like, like what are they? They're so unique. I just love the blue color and this is like an off white and they have the Tommy colors on the lip right here. So they're very just simple and I feel like a cozy sneaker. So if you, you know, wanted to just go out and about and dress comfortable, but at the same time trendy, these are definitely a great pair of shoes to rock. Now, Last piece. I didn't get the hat, by the way, guys. I was close to getting that bucket hat. It was for women, which does not matter. It was definitely a unisex piece, in my opinion. But it was just, it looked a little dingy. The black color was a little faded and it was 17 bucks. And I was like, you know what? I could find a more unique hat on Tommy's website or perhaps in the store. So held off on that. We do have one last piece, though. And you guys, I'm actually a little shook about this because the rain chelsea boots that's what i'm calling these rain boots but chelsea boots oh my goodness these are freaking stunning they're black they're i think it's like a rubber some type of rubber material and they're just so sleek minimal and simple but of course it says hill figure right in the back we have the tommy colors going up the side and these are just honestly i love myself a good pair of chelsea boots and these are just iconic so how much did i get these for there was no tag at all the last pair on the rack so she gave them to me for the same price as the other sneakers which were 15.98 so i got both of these shoes for less than 40 bucks and i'm super stoked the, the oh this is the bottom of the shoe that's actually kind of unique and we have like that tan color right here i'm super excited guys i made out pretty good at this ross and I have to say, I always find super unique Tom Hilfiger pieces at Ross. So if you have one of these locally or somewhere nearby, never underestimate the store. Always stop by. Typically, I'm more of a TG Maxx, Marshalls style guy. But Ross, when it comes to Tommy, they usually have the good good. So that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I will love your company. Do not forget to click the notification bell. That is super important because if you click that, you'll be notified when I upload new content. So if you want to stay in touch, that is the best way. I also do have a personal Instagram at George Schraub right there, as well as the House of Hilfiger, which is my dedicated Tommy Hilfiger page. So if you want to follow that for more Tommy content, be my guest. I would love it. Hashtag House of Hilfiger, as well as tag the account to be featured on the page. And until next time, as always, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.